Hi, I am Coach Nayla Latrice, and I am here to tell you three techniques that I use to be able to manifest my life, okay? One of the first techniques, and there's so many, I mean, there's literally thousands, okay, um, of different techniques that you can use. So, uh, disclaimer, do what works for you. I'm sharing uh, what works for me and how I have manifested my way out of homelessness, okay, um, into a home, okay, and how I've manifested other opportunities and um, just how I was able to shift and change uh, the trajectory of my life by taking control okay and this is how I did it but um, what works for me may not necessarily work for you um, but I definitely have many different techniques that I have used and like I said these are only three of them so one of the main things that I consistently do um, to manifest is the healing and releasing work, okay? So you definitely have to release what does not serve you. You have to heal uh, the mindsets, okay, uh, the, the belief systems that you have to make you feel that you are not able to manifest what you truly desire in your heart. So many of you all may want to manifest a new work opportunity, for instance. And you may have the mindset that you're not worthy. You may have the mindset that you're not good enough. You may have the mindset that people like me don't get those type of op opportunities, even though you know that you are more than qualified. Or maybe you're not exactly qualified, but you know that's where you desire to be. You can still manifest that. You just, again, have to work on your belief system, okay? So it's releasing the old way uh, of thinking uh, and being able to replace it with uh, the opposite, with positive thinking. So as soon as you say, oh, I want to apply for this opportunity, but I'm not good enough. You have to tell yourself, I am more than good enough. I am more than capable. I am more than able to perform this opportunity or to perform the tasks and the duties that are required of me in excellence. You have to have high vibrational, um, a high vibrational vocabulary, okay, to be able to really uh, 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 transcend and release the negative and fill it in with the positive uh with the positive uh energy that you need to help uh, uh help you to manifest what it is that you desire okay so pretty much releasing the negative and uh filling up what filling your cup up after you've released the negative and filling it up with uh, the positive of what it is that you are desiring or the positive of what you, um, of what negative you are thinking, okay? So to clarify, if you are thinking something negative, filling it up with the exact opposite of a positive thought, okay? Um, the next thing that I do um, goes along kind of with what I just said is mirror work, okay? We can't always stand in the mirror when the negative thoughts come, right? Um, so you, you definitely have to be able to um, do your mirror work as well to keep those thoughts from coming okay so if you're releasing and you're um immediately stopping the negative thoughts like i just said with the first thing and you're filling yourself up positively then that's definitely required and necessary but when you're doing that mirror work when you wake up in the morning okay um when you're walking past the mirror when you're at work and you go to the bathroom or intentionally take a five minute break and go to the bathroom at work or whatever you're working from home, wherever you're at, wherever you can see a mirror, if you're in your car, okay? If you're looking at the reflection of yourself outside in your window of your car, wherever, going to buy a mirror, whatever, there's no excuse. Really looking yourself in the eye, eye to eye, and telling yourself the positive that you want to fill your life up with. Speaking your manifestations out loud, which is uh, another way to manifest, okay? Speaking, 
but speaking it in the mirror is what's adding that effect. Um, that mirror magic is what it is, okay? What you're um, saying in that mirror is being reflected right back to you. Anytime you get a new mirror as well, definitely sage it and clear the energy from off of that mirror because you don't know how many people have walked past that mirror and have said something negative and the mirrors, they hold energy. Mirrors, I feel like, can all be connected around the world. They hold information, okay? We're not gonna get into mirrors and so forth, but that's another video I can do, okay? Anyway, Anyways, if that's something you're interested, let me know. I can do a mirror video. However, okay, um, when you're speaking into the mirror, it's reflecting right back onto onto you. So you're be, you are that person of whatever you're filling yourself up with. And when you do it on a consistent basis, you literally be that person and you no longer maybe you do it less and less you know for out of need some of you guys may start your mirror work out of need because you're really at a place to where you're pulling yourself up from a dark place maybe okay bringing yourself into a lighter space so what you're doing out of place of need but eventually you're going to work your way to where anytime you walk by that mirror it's just because you want to it's just to keep it going it's just because it's good vibrations to talk to yourself good and to feel good about how uh, how you feel once you look yourself in the mirror and you know that you that that the mirror work you've done to that point has really worked you may not feel the most comfortable starting off you may feel it may feel a little weird it may feel like okay um is this really going to work? Yes, it is. You're talking to yourself. Okay, when I when I work with children, I'm at eye level with them. You get what I'm saying? So you have to be at eye level with yourself. Talk to your inner child in the mirror and you feed your spirit. What spirits are you feeding yourself? Feed yourself the, 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 the nurturing spirits, the spirits that are going to grow you and elevate you. Do that work in the mirror. You guys, go ahead and book your sessions down below in the description bar, okay? Um, I'll give you a few. I'll give more than three because like I already mentioned, speaking those things that are not is another way to be able to manifest your desires, isn't that for those of you all that does read the Bible, okay? I'm not religious. However, the, the Bible, many things of it did lay a certain foundation for me for who I am um, at this point in my life. But the, the, the Bible means something completely different to me now than what it meant um, when I was religious. You get what I'm saying? But um, it's a, definitely a great tool to be able to use to um, keep you positive and to help you to manifest and to have that reminder, okay, of who you are and what is possible and to keep you going strong and encouraged, right? Anyways, when you call those things that are not as though they were, then that shows your power. You, if you are the one... If the word that you all read says to call those things that are not as though they were, who is the power being given to? I'll wait. You. The power is being given to you. You have the power to call what you desire. If it's not here, you have the power to call it to you. So you are the one making it happen. The universe responds to what you are asking for. It's not, oh, I'm such a little worm and I'm not worthy. See, that's what religion does to you. But that's all from back in the being colonized and I'm going to go speak on that right now. Don't get trapped. Okay? You have to be able to call those things that are not as though they were because you have that power. You get what I'm saying? So... You are that God. You are that goddess. You have that power over you. Allow the universe to respond by speaking those things that are not. And you call them in. The universe will support you. But it depends on if you think you're this little worm and you're not worthy. And God, please, please, please. I know you're blessing everyone else. If you have time. Please come see about me and my household. Maybe you, I just might get lucky and you pass over my household and give me what I asked for. That's not how that works. You have all power. 
And if you're not seeing it, it's because there's some confusion, which is of the enemy that is keeping you, which is your own thoughts of what, how you've been trained. That's the enemy. The matrix is the enemy that trained you and made you read material to train you. They took your own material, those that are melanated, they took your own, our own material and use it against us and re re redid it to use it against us to keep us from our power. So we don't call what we want to us. So we can be afraid and be in fear. But when we are fearless, we have all power in our hands. So to manifest what you desire, if you're in a situation to where you have to, uh, where it's like, I've been praying and praying and I'm not receiving the answers, it's because you don't have faith. You don't have faith that you have the power. You're putting your faith into another entity. Your faith has to be within yourself. And when you have that faith within yourself, the universe will prove it to you. The universe will show you just how much you believe in yourself. That may be a different concept for people to, to, to believe, but you know, that's what it is. That's how I've manifested. You have to transcend the religious text of for those that are stuck in religion and the Bible, because that's really what it is that keeps us from manifesting our true powers, 1111. You have to really be not be afraid to transmute that, but that is a journey. I was on a journey for a long time with confusion and not really knowing as well, but you have to call those things that are not as though they were. That's how you manifest. You want that new car? You can have all the material things you want. You can have the person you want. You can have the love that you want. You can travel to wherever you want. You just got to call it in to you. The problem is you don't believe what you're calling towards you. You're asking like this. Instead of asking like this. Be confident. You have to, have, you have to speak with confidence. And trust and faith. So let me move on to uh, the original uh, third thing that I said uh, that I was going to mention on how to manifest. And that is a technique called scripting. We've all heard of it. OK, I have look, look, I got this notebook here. OK, um, that I've written in. I have like one, two, three, four, five. I got five, no six notebooks right here. Okay. Um, I am in my space. I definitely like to, um, stay on the floor, meditate, um, call in and pull in, um, the positive energies as I am scripting, um, my, I'll give you, I'm not going to give it in this video, but I'll also do a video. Let me write that down. Um, my process on actually how I script. Okay. Um, like what I do beforehand, how I get my energy, um, and so forth. And guess what? It is 111, baby. You see that baby? I'm always in alignment. Y'all go find, look, y'all go, y'all go find out. Okay. Um, but anyways, um, scripting is definitely a way because you're spelling, you're spelling out what it is that you desire. You're putting your spell out there to the universe, okay? You're, you're, com you're confirming not only what you've called and spoken out, not only what you have um, done as far as mirror work and everything else, you're doing another layer and you're actually writing it down. And then if you, another tip, on top of just scripting is to repeat it back to yourself on a daily basis to get yourself in the energy to at least remind yourself of where you're headed and what's what you already have and so forth okay you always want to speak as if you have it you always want to script as though you already have it that goes into the law of assumption as well as the law of attraction okay because if you are it if you assume that you already have it because you do because we live in a universe full of multiverses and so you're constantly there's so many different versions of you that are living certain lives already, you just gotta tap into that and be that person and call that lifestyle towards you. Come on, somebody. For some people, this may be too deep or too, oh, I don't know what she's talking about. It may not be for you then. Because everyone expects people to be more religious. And when we're breaking the religious factors and boundaries of who or what God is, 
then you're playing with people's whole life. And a lot of people, they don't know how to transition because that's all they've known their whole life. So it's, again, stuck in fear to think or believe something else because they think they're already they're going to go to hell. Baby, you already in hell. Especially if you didn't... You're telling me you came on this earth and you lived your whole life on this earth and you didn't get nothing out of it and you afraid to go to hell? Didn't you already live in hell then? So you live on hell for going your concept. You believe in hell already that you that you may go to hell but it's like you're living on hell here on earth but then you're gonna also live in hell once you pass away is that what you think or you think you're gonna go to heaven do you think you gotta live a life of hell on earth just to get to heaven pretty much no script your life write down what it is that you want and trust and know that you will receive it and it is for you and that is how you manifest and get physical things because there's so many physical things in this world as we see on our social medias, whether you're going on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all these other new ones, Snapchat, I don't even know Snapchat's still around. I'm a little old school. And definitely, um, I'm able to share and coach you all on how to transcend a lot of these energies because I was also once in the place where you were figuring out my belief systems and religion and spirituality and, and breaking your, the traditions of what my family, uh, family expectations and being like, dang, I'm the black sheep or I think different than my family and that's not agreeable with everyone and you know, but it's like you live your life. You have to do what's best for you and you're not responsible for other people's manifestations. You're only responsible for yours, okay? So to recap, we release, okay, um, what's not serving us. We release and heal what's not serving us and we replace that, um, our thoughts, we release the thoughts that are not serving us, we release the habits, any energies that are not serving us, and we replace them with those energies, thoughts, habits that will serve us, okay? Um, we, um, we do the mirror work, okay? Um, we call those things that are not as though they were, okay? And then we script. So those are four ways, okay? Um, and I gave you guys a bunch of other tidbits in between on how you can truly, really manifest the life that you desire. Whatever you want, it is possible. Everything that you see physically, it literally came from a thought first. Every building you saw, out here that you see out here it came from a thought first someone's mind saw it in their mind they called it it from out of their mind out of the sp spiritual 5d realm and they made it manifest physically by doing whatever necessary work was required to bring it into this 3d world so it all starts up here. It all starts with your feeling, your frequencies. Spirit matches frequencies. And if you're like this, you're not going to get it. So you have to be here, like a radio station. You got to dial into the station that you desire, okay? So this is your video on how to manifest. You guys can uh, book your Motivated to Manifest uh, coaching workshop down below in the description bar. Okay. It's definitely worth it. It's definitely a very affordable and it is life changing. You will get tools and everything that you need. Okay. Uh, to be able to really, uh, shift your mindset and really shift um, into a different type of energy so you can manifest what it is you desire. So if you want that type of help, then you guys can book your sessions with me down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. I'm Coach Nayla Latrice. Peace.